So here we have the Renault Traffic van on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of it and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. We're going to start off first of all in the cargo area at the rear of the van. As we approach the back of the vehicle you can see that it's all been ply lined. We have that full metal bulkhead as well and sliding side door access. Okay, we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the van and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Uh, but now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in good condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Over on the far left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right hand side, the fuel gauge. In the center, you can see the digital readout for the speedometer. And above that, the total miles of the van, which are 75,961. You can change the information displayed up there by using the button on the end of the right hand stalk. And just under that stalk, we've also got our stereo controls for the van as well. Over in the center, you'll find the main stereo itself, some storage above it. The on off button and volume button for the stereo can be found over here. Um, of course, we have our radio. Every push of the radio will take you through a different uh, back wave band. And as you can see, we have DAB. Uh, we've also got AM and FM as well. If you want to listen to your own music, press this button. Nothing is connected at the minute. You can connect up a USB device and an auxiliary device from here. Below that, we have the fan. So you can determine the direction the air is being distributed in, the fan speed and the temperature. You can also recirculate the air that's in the van. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you've set just here. We have our deadlocks and our hazard warning lights, a 12 volt charging socket with two USB uh, inputs in there and a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the van for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.